Humanoid robots in everyday households might be more common than you might think. Tesla is working on Optimus, which will be released to the public in 2026, with trial versions available in 2025 probably. Boston Dynamics is trying to put humans and robots working side by side, and Engineered Arts is building a robot that can recognize and replicate human emotion. And that's nothing compared to the Chinese robot that can walk just like a human. Keep watching till the end to learn more about it. Amika. While Amika is the most advanced humanoid robot in the world, the one thing it lacks is the ability to walk. Engineered Arts developed the robot and they launched Amika at the 2022 CES event held in Las Vegas. So why is Amika so special? Well, first off, it can express human emotions. That's right, using the silicone face, Amika can not only tell you her opinion, but also emulate complex human emotions from contentment to happiness, anger, and so much more. Thanks to the binocular eye-mounted camera, Amika tracks faces and can smash that like button, just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, Omeka can interact with people very easily. Now, while the robot can't move, you can buy it for $133,000 and display it at events and gatherings so she can interact with the guests. Plus, it's only been two years in the making and people can use the AI and machine learning systems to advance it. Speaking of advanced robots, Gen 3 Optimus. During the annual shareholder meeting in 2024, Elon Musk made a few groundbreaking announcements. And no, I'm not talking about the Cybertruck. I'm talking about the moment he unveiled the Optimus Gen 2 robots. But did you know that Gen 3 is already in the making? During the event, while everyone was busy talking to and interacting with the Gen 2 Optimus robots, Musk unveiled this hand. It's a generation three hand that's more advanced than any robot hand Tesla's ever developed. They're also building a new roadmap of understanding for the Gen 3 robot, which should begin testing in 2025 as the Gen 2 and Gen 3 enter production. According to Musk, the Gen 3 Optimus will be capable of doing everything a human being could, which will turn Optimus into the Tesla for your home. Atlas. After years upon years of development, Boston Dynamics scrapped their old Atlas robot, which was capable of performing stunts and carrying heavy construction materials in hazardous environments. But the company said, Nope, we can do better. And they introduced the new Atlas, which has improved mobility, insane flexibility, and the freakest introduction video of all time. Seriously, it's like the intro for a new Terminator movie. Talk to the hand. Shortly after that, they showed Atlas moving some very heavy engine covers without the help of humans. So when Boston Dynamics finally releases Atlas to the public, we can expect him to work side by side with humans in all sorts of manufacturing environments. But the robot is fairly small, which is a trait it shares with Unitree G1. During the 2024 ICRA events, Unitree announced one of the cheapest humanoid robots on the market. Seriously, you can get a G1 for just $16,000. Sure, that's more than some people's car, but when you realize this is a robot that weighs 77 LLBs or 35 kilos, can run at speeds of two meters per second, and is capable of gently grasping objects thanks to his dexterous hands, I'd say that's pretty cheap. Plus, this version will only improve with time because the Unitree G1 relies on reinforcement learning. Plus, you can't knock it over, even if you want to, because the robot can balance itself. Unlike Optimus, this one's a smaller robot, measuring only 4 feet tall or 1.2 meters. And the best part is, G1 can talk to you, just like this next robot, Sophia. Now, some will argue that Sophia is smarter than Amika, but I don't really know that. What I do know is that Sophia is definitely more popular than Amika. She was on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. She was interviewed by NBC, 
and she even had a productive talk with life coach Tony Robbins. Hanson Robots unveiled Sophia back in 2016 and they've been improving her facial expressions, voice recognition, and response software for the past eight years. Sophia is capable of recognizing emotions, hand gestures, human faces, and speech thanks to her built-in neural networks, conversational natural language processing, machine perception, and symbolic AI. Sophia became the first robot to become a citizen of a country when the UAE gave her one. Plus, she's the United Nations Development Program's first robot innovation ambassador. However, OpenAI accused Hanson Robotics of exaggerating Sophia's capabilities. Figure 02 Although Figure AI has developed Figure 02, the robot's operations rely on the use of OpenAI's large language models. The robot is 5 feet 6 inches tall and he weighs a total of 154 pounds. He's not that fast, reaching a maximum walking speed of 1.2 meters per second. Plus, it can carry objects that weigh 44 pounds or 20 kilo. Because Figure 02 has been backed up by OpenAI, many people have been paying very close attention to it. Some are saying that Figure 02 has access to the unreleased GPT-40 and even GPT-5. With the spotlight shining bright on this sleek looking robot with text to speech reasoning, Brett Adcock, the CEO of Figure AI has said that it could be built for under $20,000. So once it's in production, you can expect to get it for pretty cheap. Another robot that's been announced for release but still undergoing testing is Amazon Astro. Unlike some of the other robots we showed you, this one's a little different. If a Roomba and Alexa had a child, it would be Astro. This cute little robot with a face inside a display is the perfect companion for the home. He doesn't walk, but he can roll in style, and the wheels he has built in are very advanced. Astro has microphones, sensors, LiDAR, and a camera that pops out on demand. This comes in pretty handy when you want to call someone at home or you just want to see how everything is around the house. But you can't play with Astro as soon as he's out of the box. The first hour or so he will spend looking around and analyzing your home. Instantly, Astro builds a 3D map of your house in his head. For now, Astro is only good at taking pictures of people and delivering stuff to people. Just tell him which room you want him to go in and he'll do it. When the robot is finally released, Amazon expects to sell it for $1,500, but the release date hasn't been announced yet. What has been announced is China's new robot that walks like a human. SE01 Take a look at this video. No, that's not a headless human walking around an office. That's China's SE01 robot that walks and moves just like a human being. When other robots move, it's jerky, laggy, and you can tell that it's not a human walk. But this company from China challenged all of that. Combining imitation learning with reinforcement learning, the SE01 robot is capable of achieving next level excellence. And that's why you see it walking around with a natural gait, a swagger, that can only be replicated by other humans. The robot is still in development and was announced in October of 2024, but so far it's been setting new standards for robotic movement. Meanwhile, Digit's been setting up records in agility at the workplace. Most of us might know Digit as the robot that collapsed after working long hours at an exhibition, but in reality, it's a very powerful robot that's designed to replace menial jobs like warehouse storage and moving boxes. Digit was designed to blend in any work environment. Thanks to his many sensors, he can move around people and objects while carrying a heavy load. Agility Robotics created Digit using artificial intelligence and advanced perception systems. That's why areas that are usually inaccessible to other robots, Digit navigates them with ease. They can even work in hazardous workplaces, so humans wouldn't need to risk their lives. Agility Robotics started experimenting with robotic movement in 2012. After analyzing the natural movement in animals, they were able to turn that knowledge into code, which then powered the first bipedal robotic legs. And presto, 12 years later, we have a working robot. Forerunner K2. This robot might look like someone took a taxi cab and used the metal to build a robot, 
but Kepler Robotics came up with their very own powerful robot that can carry 55 pound loads. Not only that, this robot can grasp things and operate machinery thanks to the advanced sensors in its hands. To help Forerunner learn independently of humans, Kepler Robotics use reinforced learning. Plus, the robot relies on artificial intelligence to operate, but it also comes with teleoperation. This means that you could sit at home and control the robot hundreds of miles away. Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence, one video at a time. 